brought to you by my Patreons. Fuck it, I'm gonna teach you how to play Tetris. Okay, so you go to this website. In fact, actually, I'm gonna put the link in the description and if you are watching on Twitch, I'm just gonna share it right now here. There you go, there's the link. And so you go to three trees and you select new game. Now, uh, you rotate the pieces with a set and X. Actually, I'm gonna put it, should I put it on silent? Okay, nothing. And then you move it with the arrow keys, <clears throat> okay? And the goal is the same as Tetris, obviously, to complete lines, right? But as you can see, these pieces are very weird. And so, for example, in fact, you need these kind of individual triangles, which is something you would never see on Tetris. You would never see, like, it, it, the, the game would have no point if you had these uh, individual squares in Tetris. But in Tetris, you kind of need them for the game to be playable. You're gonna see. And so, okay, so I'm playing kind of like normally. I'm just trying not to leave any holes in my structure. Um, but as you are gonna see in a moment, like Tetris, like teaches your mind to think differently because you you have to like visualize things in different ways. Okay, so for example, this piece, like where the fuck do you put it? So that's the secret is you put it like this. Sometimes you are going to have to leave holes, but it's going to be okay. And the next piece is an orange one and that's gonna be really cool because Tetris does something. Like in order for the game to be playable, pieces sometimes can go through each other if they would end up in a valid position. So, you see, it went through the green piece because uh, below the green piece there was a valid position. So that's a very important mechanic in Tetris. So sometimes it's okay to leave holes. Sometimes it's it's okay because they are not really holes. And so, so, so look, uh, I could reach this hole from the from the top, but I could also reach it from below if I'm quick enough. I'm gonna see if I can show it to you. Okay, I was quick enough. It's just, you just have to rotate the piece really quickly before it settles in the position it's in. And then you can fill the hole from the side. And then I'm gonna put this here. And then, yeah, that's basically how you play Tetris. I guess we could say that another principle of this game is not just to learn to not leave holes like in Tetris, but sometimes you can be like deceived into doing things that leave no holes but still are not good for you. And so it's just we want to get compatible structures, let's call them. Structures that are compatible with the rest of the pieces of the game too, because I, I guess that's the problem with Tetris Sometimes you think you didn't leave a hole and, and you didn't but you created something that That uh, the regular Tetris pieces are gonna have a difficult time uh, interacting with
there. So yeah, anyway, that's tea trees. Hope you like it. Hope you find it interesting. Uh, if you do any, if you get to any interesting high scores or you do some interesting tricks or whatever, uh, you, please do let me know. Like uh, share uh, the screenshots with us or I don't know, you figure it out. Just share it with us. And so, yeah, goodbye. Special thanks to Automatios and Valerie Hive, T Hive, Ryan Roberts, Carlo Fascioli, and Cookie Soft Tea. All my Patreons, thanks a thousand times, thanks a million times.